Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a double unboxing of Illumicrate Afterlight and the regular May box of this year. So let's go ahead and unbox the Afterlight first. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the Afterlight first. So Afterlight is a quarterly box, and so the first thing you have is this paper, and it just has the spoiler card on the back. It tells you the book and the items are inside of it. So the first item here is actually a nail filer. Um, I actually do like this. This is it's nice quality, I guess, and it actually does have a nice, pretty design on it. Um, so yeah, then we have a bookmark, which is actually has the title of the book for this month. It is, you made a fool of death with your beauty. And then on the back, it says, imagine that Faye were alive and I love you on the other side of this um, bookmark, which is nice. So the last item besides the actual book, we have like a bag of some sort. So let's go ahead and open this up. So... I probably won't be using this or I mean yeah I probably won't be using this bag because it's not my style but it feels interesting. The design is nice I guess. Um it's actually a like a lunch bag as you can see from the inside. But yeah it's pretty small. I guess it's nice. I don't know. <laughs> There's just get on to the actual book here something i really care about so let's go ahead and open it up so here's the book um you made a full of death with your beauty by a wakey um Mezzi. i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce the author name i could be wrong but yeah and this is the uk cover i actually like the spine a lot i think the spine is very colorful and pretty and then on the back that's that. And this comes with purple spray edges, which are nice. Um, and I think this is signed by the author. Yeah. That's really cool. And there's nothing special about the book besides the spray edges and the signature. But yeah, this is, I'm pretty sure this is queer featuring a I character, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah i'm excited to read this one um so let's go ahead and open the regular box for this month so here we have the Illumicrate may box uh, i already know the book from this month because i'm pretty sure they announced it before but this month's theme is in the dark um and again you just come with this flyer featuring all the items in the in the box and the actual book for this month and then for June theme is fight for your future. So that's for next month. And then we just have all the items inside here. So the first two items come together um, is a tea set. So let's go ahead and open that up. So the balls are actually pretty nice. Um, so, so this is called Goddess of Night and this is the collectible tea cup for this month. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're like um, the collectible series they're doing for this year. I'm not sure how many they're doing, but yeah. So we have the teacup here. It's very, very small. Um, I like the design, but um, I'm not going to be using this just because it's so tiny. Um, so I'm probably just going to have it on my bookshelf as a display. Um, but the design is okay. It's nice. I guess. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open the saucer that come with it. So the same type of packaging for this because they're a matching set. Um, so let's go ahead and open the saucer up. I'm just dropping everything on the floor. But yeah. Um, it's a little dirty but we have the saucer here. I do like the design of this. It has a reflective like moon on it, which is nice. And I like the color blue. So I'm just gonna put this like on my rainbow shelves. I kind of like where my blue are. Um, yeah, they're, I guess it's cute or whatever, um, but I feel like without this item. 
So the next item we have is a journal inside here. Um, so let's go ahead and read the quote. How dark the night which stretched before us yet ablaze with the light of the moon and the stars. It felt as bright as day by Sue Lantan. And I'm pretty sure this is inspired by um, the daughter of the moon goddess by this author. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's actually really nice. Uh, let's see if I can get this open. Okay, there we go. So it actually has um, some nice black spray edges on here, which I like. I also do like that the journal is purple. This feels very nice actually. Um, and then it has holographic foiling on the cover. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but the foiling is nice. And then it has black spray edges on each side. And this is a bullet journal. And the pages are actually black, which I love. I always wanted a black um, all pages bullet journal. And then on the back, it has like little folders to keep things in. So I'm excited to use this. I just need to buy um, some white gel pens and stuff for this. Um, and it does have like a ribbon in it, like a ribbon bookmark, which I can't even open. Here it is. Yeah, so yeah, I think this is a really nice item. The quality is really good for this, so I'm excited to use this. So, here's the next item. Um, let's go ahead and open this up in this bag. And this is a dagger, which is fucking cool. I love this already. It sucks. Great. I don't know. Okay, there it is. So here's the dagger. I think this is really, really cool. And if I'm not, if I'm sure this is inspired by um, Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I have the book right here, but you can't see it. But this look really amazing. And I love this a lot. This is just more of a decor piece than anything, but I love it. It's really greatly made. Like the quality, the quality of this is really nice. It has some weight to it. And I love the colors of this, so. Yeah, I'm really happy with this item. I think this is a really cool item. Um, and I know Illumin Crate does a lot of replicas for daggers and books, which I love, um, but this is my first one ever. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next item, which is inside this white thing. I think it's a bookmark just by the packaging. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is beautiful. So it is a bookmark. Yeah, this is really beautiful. This is made of metal. It's kind of, it's very thin though, but the design on it is so nice and I love it quite a lot. I'm not sure what it's inspired by, but I love this so much and I can't wait to use it. I love receiving um, metal bookmarks, especially this kind where like they're cut up in the bookmark. Um, but yeah, this is truly beautiful. And I can't wait to start using it, so yeah. Anyway, that's the last item. So I enjoyed all the items besides the teacup and the saucer just because I won't be using those. But everything else I do love. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the book. Like I said, I already know what the book is. It is Book of Night by Holly Black. Um, I do like this a lot. I received the Fairy Loot edition of Book of Night in their May Adult box which I do have up there and I'll just go ahead and grab it so you guys can see the difference in, the differences between the both editions. Okay, so here's the Lemon Crate one and then we have the Fairy Loot one right here. So as you can see the Fairy Loot one, they just made it all black and then for Lemon Crate they did white, which I like. So here's the cover. Um, yeah, they just inverted everything to white and black, which I like and then it's exactly the same as Fairy Loot. They just did theirs in black. And they both have black spray edges, as you guys can see there. Um, I'm getting tired of black spray edges just because I've been getting quite a lot of them recently. Um, and I feel like they could have done something better. But yeah. And then we have these inner pages. And I actually prefer the Fairy Loot one better just because. This is kind of simple and they're both the same on the front and back. So let me show you guys the Fairy Loot one because I prefer the Fairy Loot um, 
end page is better. As you can see, the fairly ones are just so much more beautiful and they actually have two different end pages on the front and back, which I like. So I just wish uh, Illuminate did the same thing. Um, they do different end pages on both sides and I feel like they could have done like a better design on it. But it's whatever. So let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket and see what's on the hard actual hardcover. Now this is beautiful and I actually prefer this compared to the fairly one. So here it is. Um, this is really, really pretty. Um, I can't pronounce that, but <laughs> um, yeah, I really like this. This is so beautiful. It has these um, metallic silver foiling on the cover in the back, which is nice. Um, and then the fairly one is actually just like printed on the actual hardcover with gold foiling on it, kind of, um, which I do like a lot. Um, but I think I prefer this one better. Um, so yeah. I think it's a nice addition of the box, but I don't know. Let me know which one you guys think prefer, the Fairly one or the Lemon Crate one. Um, but I think I'll go with the Fairly one just because I prefer the end pages a little bit more. So yeah. So yeah, that was the Lemon Crate boxes for this month. Um, I actually already read this book like a couple days ago on audiobook and I thought the book was just okay. Um, this is my first Holly Black book that I ever read and this is her first adult book that she released and I gotta say it doesn't read adult at all. It reads a lot like YA so I don't know, don't know why they published this as adult because they could easily be young adults since there's nothing about this book that made it um, adult at all. But yeah, I thought the book was just okay. I didn't enjoy it that much. I mean, it was fine. It was okay. Um, there's just a lot of questionable things with the characters um, and her boyfriend and yeah. But even then, I just didn't really like the plot of this book. Like I said, it was just okay. Um, there's like things to do with the shadow and her trying to steal this book. Um, book of Shadows uh, or the Book of Night actually. but. Yeah, I thought that was okay. But anyways, that's it for this month. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and make sure to subscribe. And yeah, bye guys.